Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Jim here. We're trying to climb up the Gen 9 ladder, folks. We're currently... 1678. I think we decayed a bit and we're not quite top 500 anymore. But... Let's give it a go with the Skeledurge squad. That I, th I think this is my favorite Gen 9 team so far. And you can't go wrong, I think, with a Rotom Wash lead. I think a simple Will-O-Wisp can't be bad. He could go Serral Edge on me, but then he doesn't know I'm Scarfed, so that's dangerous from your perspective. Ah, oh, Scarf Gambit, all right. Honestly, that's a fine trade. Rotom Wash is mostly used as an Annihilate Bancer anyway. It's actually Scarf Final Gambit Ape. That's actually crazy. All right. Um... You'll probably get Screamtail in and make rocks. Honestly. I could also go Skeledurge. I think we do... I think we do Screamtail. Serra Ledge. Alright, alright. And I think that this is like... This is really threatening, actually. I think I'd go Skeledurge, but... Problem is, I only have Hex. I can Terra Fairy to avoid a Ghost, but then... I think this guy's Swords Dancing. I do have... Unaware, though. So I think, um, I think Skeledurge handles this decently enough. We'll go Terra Fairy. Which I think we have to do anyway in this matchup. It's our best option for Terra type. For sure. I'll do a simple hex. We'll just see what you do. Yeah, I'm happy to chip Iron Valiant a little bit. That's no worries. And then... Here's Iron Valiant. Probably clicking like... I feel like Screamtail's a good mid-ground against this trick. You got lefties now? Alright. Do I make rocks? I feel like the Serilege probably doesn't have... Oh, it shows how many allies fell. Yeah, true. I mean, you could just see that pretty easily, but that's that's nice, yeah. Fair enough. UI upgrades, folks. I don't think that the Serilege would have boots, but maybe it does. I think like this needs like uh, an offensive item. Probably. I'll go Corv here. Here's Mr. Valiant. And... This is interesting because uh, you could have like... Trick Scarf is not something I've seen on this before. I won't lose health on Skeledurge. I think I'll just go to Screamtail and see what you do. I don't think you get boost moves. Debond. Alright. You're expecting like Brave Bird there. Fair. This is a pretty useless Pokemon now, but I can wish just to support an incoming guy. Which will be Skeledurge. And Skeledurge can't die to this, I don't think. Unless he gets... Randomly gets Steel move. I don't think it does. And I, I'm honestly tempted to click uh, Torch Song. Oh, I did, really did not expect you to... Oh, wow, you're not even... Okay, this guy's not even... Flash Fire. I thought you would switch out for sure. Alright, well, this is interesting now. Because you are going to bit a blade over and over. I have... I'll, I'll heal. I want to be able to live two hits. I think I can live two hits now. I think I just hex two hit. Not quite. Damn. Oh god. This is a bit... This is not epic. This is slightly non-epic, I will say. Alright, I should have I should have played this a bit differently. Yeah, and you can run me out of slack offs, okay. Let me let me check something. Cause I, I don't know what uh, item this thing has. I want to know if it's banned or not. 
because that's important info. So Bitter Blade is doing... You're terror though, so like the plus one attack basically. Oh, I can't. Oh, let's pretend I don't have unaware. Even that is like... Yeah, that adds up. I'm taking a sec here, forgive me. You're not banded, you're not banded. You're something else. Okay. Well, I've got to just lose Serilege. I'll be sorry, I've got to just lose Skeledurge here. Oh, you know what? Honestly, I think I'll I'll keep Skeledurge because it's useful as Dragonite. I think I'll sack um, Screamtail, who is now completely useless. And then we can... Um, We can go for like a wish, I guess, on the way out. Shadow Snake. Alright, fair enough. And I think the Great Tusk can live one with its natural bulk and then kill this. That's... Because I think we need Skeledosh to hit Dragonite. So I'll go for an EQ. If you go Dragonite here, I can just go to uh, Endure. Weakness Policy. Damn, dude. I do have Sucker Punch, so there's that. In the back pocket. I wonder, does Rocky Helmet damage happen before... Uh... You know, maybe I should have known this because I saw that you weren't... Does Rocky Helmet damage happen before thing? Let's find out, I guess. No, it doesn't. Rocky Helmet damage happens right after you heal all your health back. Okay. Epic stuff. Now, this is a, a mix-up between Sucker Punch and Thing, so let's go for the one that feels a bit scarier, Destiny Bond, alright. Okay, Skeledoge, can you carry me here? I really hope you can. I'll go Great Tusk first, Valiant. And I think I live like Moonblast. Oh, I, oh you tricked me leftovers, alright. That's totally fine. I expected Fairy move there, honestly. This seems honestly still winnable. I think Skeledoge can completely carry. Although this is threatening. But like... You've already terrored, haven't you? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, Sucker Punch will do a lot. Sucker Punch will do a lot. Here. But I do resist it at least. I got good bulk. I didn't even do that much. Alright, Great Tusk is carrying the hell out of me right now. I believe this Dragonite, I go straight to Skeller. Because cause I... Oh, are you going to play around unaware? I don't even know. But I feel like this is correct. And then I slack off. And I really hope you don't have Earthquake. I mean, um, Iron Head. I don't think Earthquake will kill me, but... Right, Iron Hands, hello. Quark Drive Attack. Yeah, I need this to be healthy. The problem is that you're going to try and hit Great Tusk, aren't you? Let's, let's Will-O-Wisp fake out, okay. Maybe let's go Great Tusk right now. Okay, good. And then, now you have to switch out and you lose your Quark Drive. So I'll just EQ. Alright. Ice Punch. Forfeit, okay. Clutch one from... That looked really bad, but actually, uh, Great Tusk and Skelly just soloed it. That was really good. That, I didn't feel like I was going to win that. That was uncertain, but... Honestly, if there's... I think that Great Tusk is the best Paradox Pokemon in the game. I think, if anything, is proof. That right there. Great Tusk, so solid. Able to... Stand, held its own against various offensive thrusts. And you know what they say, offense is defense. This thing, it's, its high attack allows it to like threaten this stuff while also defensively being insane as well. Like I'm two hitting iron hands while walling other stuff. It's, it's beautiful, really. All right, here we got Bike Lazar plus my favorite Pokemon, Pyramid Scheme, Roaring Moon. Magnazone Roaring Moon is actually a problematic, isn't it? 
I, at least I have my Skeledurge and my Rotom as physical walls. That's good. I'm going to lead, I think, with Rotom. Because I'm scarfed and I can at least do something to the bike. And I do wonder, where, where are you going to shed tail to? Like, are you going to shed tail to Roaring Moon? Because I don't think that... Roaring Moon could be Terra Steel is the problem. Then that would 1v1 the Croc. That would get me. I think I'll, I'll Vault first. Yeah, because you could be Scarf Cycle as well. That's another thing I was thinking. Breloom. Alright, just Breloom. Doesn't uh, Skeledurge pre-Terra just wall this? As Torch Song also goes through sub. You can get Rock Tomb. Okay, let me calc Rock Tomb. Versus Skelly. Fire type. Is that right? This is like no damage. Is this correct? Skelly, you're, you're crazy. You're an insane Pokemon. I'm going to do this. I think this is fine. Because the problem is that um, Roaring Moon, the, the matchup is dubious against that anyway. I think I'll just, um, oh yeah, why did I just forget about Spore? I'm so stupid. Okay, my bad, my bad. But like, still, I'm going to stay. Yeah, because I, I pretty much wall you anyway. So that's still fine. Still no problem. Here's Garg. And I think right here I can go, I can go here and make rocks. So can you. True. Yeah, but I got spin on me. You don't have a ghost type. So I'll go here and spin. I'll maybe I'll knock off first in case you do. Oh, that was beautiful. You thought I was spinning, but I was covering not necessarily Terra Ghost, but just you continuing to make rocks while I spin. Because you could just keep making rocks while I'm dying to salt kill. But. That worked out even better, folks. I'll click knock again, honestly. That's an interesting... I thought about this usage of Terra, where you can Terra Ghost and then do Ghost Type Curse, but... Haven't used it. Honestly, my team is not that bad versus Rocks, so that was honestly not worth it from his perspective, I think. So, we're fine. Here's Roaring Moon. And Roaring Moon can simply... Yeah, and you used your Terra. Okay, this is really good for us, folks. Since since you used your Terra, now Corviknight should handle you totally fine. I'm going to EQ. Doesn't even kill me. And now I get to EQ on the way out. Oh, well, yeah, Corv. I didn't expect to live that. I thought you would, like, DD or something here. But that's fine as well. And honestly, probably just go Rotom here and Vault. I don't love taking the, the Rock Chip if I don't have to, but... I could even go for go to Skeledurge and try to wake. Let's do that. I think that's fine. Decent chance to wake here. And Skeledurge can honestly solo the game if we... Alright, that's positive, folks. That's good. <laughs> the thing, I, I do take a lot from T-Bot. I'm not very specially defensive here. So I'll go Rotom on the... Maybe I should have gone Screamtail. The problem is Screamtail can't hit you and then I have you have Flash Cannon. I'll just Hydro Pump here. And you have Magnazone for Corv. You got a U-turn on this. It makes me think you're maybe banded. Or, or something other than DD. Like, if you were DD, I don't think you would have U-turn. That would be weird. Because you don't want to obviously switch out when you commit to a DD, right? So, I'm thinking... What if I just sack Rotom here? I don't really need it. I'll just sack Rotom. I don't think you have DD. Yeah, and then I can actually just respond to what you do. Which is... Breloom. Alright. 
And I'll go Skelly. I'll bait you to Spore. I'll go to sleep on Screamtail. I think Screamtail can go to sleep and be fine. And then I'll just go back Skelly. And then Skelly should honestly carry me because it'll answer both Roaring Moon and Breloom. Bullet Seed. Yeah, good thing I resist that. And I'll just click Torch Song. If you go Roaring Moon, I guess I will Terra Fairy and Slack off. Magnazone. Alright. This thing's actually annoying. But now I can sack Screamtail because... Screamtail... Because he didn't have Brillium anymore. I don't need to keep someone slept. So that's okay. And I can do this. And then, uh... I think I'll get King Gambit in. It's very close to Skeletoge being able to win the battle. And right here, I will... Probably just do Koitao Cleave. Because I don't think you kill me. And then... Yeah, we actually do huge damage to Corviknight as well. Let me check, um... Huh, should I Koitao again? again? I don't actually know. I might have to use that other calc to figure this one out. Fuck, some of you guys are anti-calc in the comments, but a situation like this where I'm not sure if I can kill or not, this is an important situation to calc, because... If this kills for sure, this is an important play. We're adamant. Because in the calc here, I can, um... Singles, level 100. We low on time, 90 seconds, plenty. So the thing is... We got... How many dead? Three. Koitao Cleave is doing... So you got Fizz Def. Yeah, 38 minimum, folks. So this 100% kills. Oh, but you're faster than me, so true. My bad, my bad. Okay, you also probably have Body Press. I actually forgot that uh, this would be faster. I missed it because it's like a f defensive Pokemon. That was my mistake. Alright, I'll slack off here. Super good. His Cyclozar. Alright. And... I think this is where I do Terra Fairy. Because you could do Draco. You could also knock off. That's a problem. And hopefully you go Magnazone and you throw. Roaring Moon. Okay, do you have... um? What do you have? I don't know. Let's slack off. You do have Iron Head. Okay. Let's go Corv and then... So you're not banded. Weird battle, folks. Weird battle. Earthquake was a strange one. I don't get that choice. I think I'll U-turn here. Here's the bike. Okay, nice crit there, folks. Nice crit. I wonder if you're... You're scarfed, aren't you? Based on earlier, you were faster than Rotom. Let's click Iron Head. Okay, I thought that you would go to Roaring Moon, actually. That's alright. I don't want to... Will-O-Wisp is free. It's the best click, because Roaring Moon could th actually threaten us with Iron Head. Here's the bike. I don't want to get knocked off. I'll just go to King Gambit. Rapid spin. Alright, alright. That's fine. Doesn't seem like you have... I'll Swords Dance because it doesn't seem like you have... Um, 
Body press based on how you're playing. You have Brave Bird. How can you feel body press? It's Defog. Yep, we get the kill. On Corv. Here's Roaring Moon. And you could U-turn a Magna Zone. For certain. That's possible here. I worry about such a thing. So I'm going to... Sucker Punch. Just do some damage. Yeah, you tried to U-turn on Corv. Okay. Because you could go Corv and then you get Mag in. 1711. I'm honestly a gamer. We're 1711. First 1700 of Gen 9. This is what happens when you calc, folks. Anti-calcers are in shambles. We're currently 331 on the ladder. Surpassing what the hell happened. Fruit Loops do not suck. Are Fruit Loops an Australian product? I don't know. I feel like in America they're called like Fruit Rings or something like that. They're a breakfast cereal. I guess they do suck, honestly. That's just sugar. That's fake food. That's not a real food. Alright, Fruit Loops suck has an accurate username then. Alright, we've got... We've got all the heavy headers. Bike, Ape, Dragon. They're all here. Gold Dengo. Glimorid. This is literally the most meta team possible. So this is the ultimate test of Jim's anti-meta team. Can we do this? I think... I think you lead with the Rotom. It's a simple lead. I do worry that you could have energy ball, but honestly, I'm just going to shoot off a pump. The worst case scenario here is that I die and then I have nothing for Annihilate, but we'll just pump you. I think it's good. Energy ball. I mean, we're still living. We're still living. Honestly, I think this exchange is very good because now you're not making Stealth Rock. It's a bit hard for us to get a defog off. You got a gold dango. I'll do a pump. Here's the bike. I can pump you again and then you can't shed tail, but that's dangerous, I believe. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna go scream tail. I wanna make a rock so that your glim dies next when well, next time it comes in. I really, really hope that you go to Dragonite or Annihilate. You went to Glim. Okay. Smart play. A lesser player would have gone to Dragonite and gotten farmed by this. You've done nicely here. This is an issue. I think that we're going to have to live with hazards in this game now, unfortunately. I think that's just the world we live in. Hazards are going to have to exist here. I, I think we get like... Uh, you know what I could have done is gone Skeledurge and clicked Torch Song. To, it goes through the sub and kills. That's dangerous though. I don't want to get earth powered. I don't want to commit to Terra Fairy this early. You could also even sludge bomb on the Terra Fairy. That's dangerous in many ways. But th like, I don't think that our team is that bad into hazards, really, because we got the only guys vulnerable to hazards are Great Tusk and Scream Tail, Energy Ball, and now, okay, maybe <clears throat> maybe Terra Grass will now beat me. I do kind of need this Great Tusk for Goldie. Goldie can be so bad if. Uh, that spit F drop hurts. Because I would have even lived a Terra Grass. Let's just really hope you don't, hope you don't Terra. Alright, fair enough. You go here. Oh, it doesn't make Toxic Spikes when it's on a sub. Okay, that's good intel. That's interesting. Alright. Folks, I think I'm going to go King Gambit. Here's Goldie. Alright, I mean, you're... Threatening Focus Blast, maybe. I'll just do Koitao. Okay. You thought I would suck a punch. I did make get a Toxic Spike, but um... That, I, I'm ha so happy to get rid of that Glim. This thing was annoying. And here's the, the Ape. Here's the Ape. The Ape is bad. I think honestly we do Scream Tail first. Because I think you're going to Drain Punch to try and catch this Rotom, which is the anti-ape Pokemon. I don't think you're going to Rage Fist. You went for Taunt right off the bat. That's actually really bad. Alright, I'm going to go to Rotom now. 
Let's go to Rotom and then I will trick a scarf onto you. We're up against an astute gamer who's ready for my tricks. This is not what we want. This is not at all epic. We're up against an astute gamer. It is it is known. I'm gonna go scream tail and preempt a potential go ape slash dragonite with a perish song. We do outrun Annihilate. Look at that, that precisely 307 speed for, for Annihilate. His Chi Yu, okay. This person understands what I'm doing here. Perish Song is no longer a surprise option. Okay. So I may need to die here and get Stealth Rock up. Maybe I do Perish Song. I don't think Stealth Rock is that valuable here. No, it really isn't. It threatens Chi Yu, but this might be Boots Chi Yu. I'm basically gambling on whether or not this is Boots, and I think it could easily be Boots. I'll go Perish. I uh, suppose I'll go for a double protect, no reason not to. And then we can do... Great Tusk. And... If I'm crazy, I'll go for a spin. But I don't think I'm that crazy. I'll go for like a knockoff. Should be should be fine. This one's dubious. It's dubious. It's dubious. I'm knocking off. Like you going Goldie is almost too obvious, but I'll knock off. Okay, we actually got the Goldie. No problem. Knock off again cannot be bad. Make it rain. Okay, we, we can now defog. I do wonder what terror type am I using this game? It has to be Fairy for Dragonite, I think. It has to be. Oh man, Chi Yu is just impossible to handle here. The combo of Chi Yu and Annihilate, but pretty impossible to deal with. Rotom's too low. Rotom's a bit too low. Uh, where are we going? I think you're going to Chi Yu. See, I thought you would go to Chi Yu. Because wouldn't um wouldn't you be able to simply wouldn't Corvin I simply be able to defog here and now you go Chi Yu? This is a problem because I really thought you would go straight to Chi Yu because it threatens everything. And this is such an issue, isn't it? I can terror ghost and body press you. Will that kill you? Let me check. Corvinite. Are you gonna you're gonna fire move or dark move? I think you're gonna fire move. Right? I hope you are. I'll say it could be Specs and um, Corviknights. I am max defense, body press. Doesn't even kill, damn it, man. This doesn't even kill. But what else can I do? I need to hit this. I need to actually damage this thing. This bastard of a Pokemon needs to be damaged. And then honestly, I can't even... After doing so, I can't even use Skullidurge anymore for its express purpose. This is such such a problem. This is such an issue. But I think it's my best bet, also. I think I have to do that. I can't- I don't even have time to defog anymore. This is so problematic. This is such an issue on many levels here. This is an issue, it's a struggle. I'll go to Skeledurge. Because I'm, I'm going to hope to the Lord that you're locked into Flamethrower. Okay, it appears if it's choice specs, it's probably... Okay, so you're not locked into Flamethrower. Unless, I, I mean, I don't know what's going on with this calc. I think I'm in hell. I'm in calc hell a little bit. Calcing is a mistake. Never calc. We gotta just hope you don't taunt. You did taunt. Why wouldn't you? There's literally no reason not to taunt, and yet I I say we just have to hope you don't taunt. But th what else is there for me to do, folks? There's nothing. Chekhov's gun is gonna die in one hit. Well, folks, this is 
This is the prime example of why these Pokemon are crazy. I was... It's it's a bit too overwhelming to handle, even if you try to. This is a this is a problem. I do wonder because how how do I deal with all these things? Like even if that worked out and I took out Annihilate, I took out Shiyu, there's still a Dragonite. It's too much to ask for to handle all those things. It's too much to ask for. But we'll go again. And that person also didn't fall for the Screamtail. The Screamtail can often beat that team by them just throwing and not understanding that I can perish song behind the... Like, through sub. They so they shed tail to Dragonite and then they just get destroyed by this, the perish song. Which resets momentum for me. Let's me, like, rock up and wish to something. It's too much momentum and then they're behind. But this guy, he went to Chi Yu on the shed tail. He went everywhere that punished Screamtail. Okay. We've got Grimmsnarl to deal with. I think I'll lead with, with King Gambit. And I'll just Iron Head. Let's just do large damage against this. Here's Volcarona. And I'll just go Screamtail and Perish. Fiery Dance. Okay. That's cool. I care for that. Is this like... I can't rock. Let's just go straight to Scream's Tail, honestly. And are you going to Shed Tail to Hat? I'll Perish Song because it, it can't be bad. You never go hat. I don't think the people are aware that um, Screamtail has rocks sometimes because they're. I keep thinking hat's coming in, but it never does. This is interesting. I might just have to perish. I'll make rock. Let's do. Let's make rock. And then let's um. Let's go to Great Tusk a single time. Go back to Scream Tail and then perish. I, I the Volcarona 90% of the time has boots, but the fact that you have hat means maybe you don't have boots on this one. You know? So I think making rocks is nice. And Garganical can't really do much to Scream Tail anyway. So that's fine. You, you do have boots, okay. As is expected, really. Perish song again, I suppose. I thought I turned that off, but we still hear Woody from Toy Story saying, You're my favorite deputy every time someone subscribes. Sometimes I feel like an old man. I don't know how to turn that off. Honestly, I don't know how to. Let's go to. Wrote and wash a single time and then back to Scream Tail. I do feel like, like, what does the Hatterin actually achieve here for you when you don't have Hazard Week fellows? Isn't isn't Hatterin supposed to be anti-Hazards and then you got to Boots Volk anyway? And these guys don't really care about Hazards, any of them. So, I do question that. Allow me to go to King Gambit. Alright, this is good. I'm going to go Koitao Cleave here. You don't get, like, fighting coverage. Yeah, and you're, you just die in a moment. Can't I simply Swords Dance? I'll just Koitao Cleave. I'm threatening everything, except for Iron Hands. It's honestly true as hell. Alright, Skeledurge might be the, the switch in here. I think that you probably expect Great Tusk to come in. Skeletage did achieve achieve something right now. Alright. And I think it's Torch Song, because Will-O-Wisp is... But then... No, I'll Will-O-Wisp. 
Whenever I see hat, I keep thinking they're going to go to hat, but sometimes they never do, you know? They just don't do it. It's not on their radar. That's a nice song for Christmas, folks. Anyone looking forward to Christmas? That's fun. Man, Skeletor takes zero from uh, Thunder Punch, huh? Alright. I go Great Tusk on this. Have you terrored yet? You haven't? Let's EQ you. This thing is going to be very annoying. Because I'm running out of Perish Song PP and also uh, it's hard to get King Gambit in because it threatens Steel types. Really an annoying experience overall, really. Okay. I might just go to King Gambit. Honestly, a Mystical Fire is not that threatening. You have lefties. Draining Kiss, nothing. That's nothing to me. Draining Kiss, pathetic, really. Koitao Cleave, can't be bad. Iron Hands, hello. You're, you're taking damage from Burn. Let's go to Screamtail, honestly, because we can wish up Great Tusk. Maybe I'll perish this so it doesn't uh, iron defense, and then I can wish again, go Great Tusk, heal it up, and then uh, I am running low on Perish Songs. I know. Hopefully, like, King Gambit can still handle this just by coming in against it. Let's see, do we do we two hit this thing? I'm assuming offensive cover dance here. Great tusk. And we have AV. We also have Terra Steel. Okay. Let's Earthquake. Hat. And then So if you took that much from Earthquake. Iron Head isn't doing that much more, but I might still use it anyway. No, I'll just go to King Gambit. I will just go to King Gambit. I'll use Koitao Cleave. Such a bad play. I don't like this play. Maybe, maybe this is what you have to go for at this point from your perspective. Okay. But I, I lack respect for the play a little bit. I do wonder, can Skeleturge wall this and just naturally through typing? You are at least getting lower and lower. That's nice for me. I do enjoy that. Alright, I'm going to Terra Steel Earthquake, I think. I think you're going to Giga Drain. Oh, ugh. Are you going to Terra Grass is the thing. Oh, man. God, I hate Terra. Like, it, you could easily not Terra Grass here, and you'd be alright, but maybe you're going to Terra Grass, because do you know I'm AV or not? Oh, this is annoying. I'll go for Iron Head. You did Terra Grass. You're going to Giga Drain. I'm going to Iron Head. Now you can Fire Move. I'll go Rotom. Used Morning Sun. This is just... Ah, oh, man. Okay. I can trick my scarf on you, I guess. Oh, you know what? Skeletage walls you, actually, doesn't it? Skeletage just walls you because you only have fire and grass. Yeah. So I can just go Skeletage and win off my typing. We can also Torch Song. And Steel Great Tusk is going to help against Hatterin, honestly. So that's fine. Oh, unfortunately, King Gambit is now burned. That's so annoying, man. <laughs> okay, well, I might have to use the Perish song for this. I think I will. It's interesting you spend the turn rapid spinning, too. I feel like that... Your team isn't that bad as hazards. But what do I know? Okay.
And I might just go straight to Grey Tusk. Okay, next time we're in this loop, I'm going to try and make a double switch to catch this Garganical. I think that's that's what we got to do. It's nice because now Volk is taken a lot from Iron Head as well. If I get Flame Bodied on Grey Tusk as well, I think I lose though. That's so annoying. All right, um, all right, I'll just go to Grey Tusk. You click Salt Cure again. Of course you did, really. I mean, of course you did. Okay, you're probably going Volcarona. No, you're salt curing again. My mistake. I think I'm right back to hating Gen Gen 9. I think I hate Gen 9, folks. I think Gen 9 sucks. What do I do? Probably slack off. You're gonna knock off me, maybe. Let's go like Scream Tail, it also covers Meteor. Did that crit matter or knock off? What a funny thought. I think that crit mattered. Because I don't think I would have died to the knockoff after. You only have Rapid Spin as well. Draco Meteor. Last, probably. But now I might die to knockoff. I'll, I'll wish. Oh dear. You got Taunt last. Okay. I'll go to Skeledurge to preempt the Shed Tail, because at least I can torch Shong through sub if it comes to such a thing. Here's Garganical, my my favorite Pokemon that I love. I love Garganical. I'm happy that it's like in here and it's gonna do stuff to me. I'm really looking forward to this. I love that I can't status it. I love that uh, it beats Steel types. Man, I love this guy. Oh, Jesus. This is... This is my least favorite Gen 9 battle I've ever had so far. This is really... Really a non-epic situation I found myself in. Overall. I'm thinking of what to do, and I can't think of anything. Because of course you also resist ghosts, so I can't like... My torch on cannot break this sub. I suppose I'll sack King Gambit. Alright, you're iron heading. I can get one last perish song, one last hurrah. Force you out a single time. Maybe I can trick a scarf onto you. Maybe this will work. Uh, probably you can see it coming though. Alright, that's good. That's good. And I think Screamtail is still faster after... Um after thing. Okay, we actually neutralized the Garg. 
that's good. So if that's that's all right. Because this is this has been the main roadblock. Now I think Skeledurge can take it home. Let's pump again. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Have I terrored yet? Can't recall. I terror steel. All right. I'll go to the the dirge. We'll go to the dirge. You're burned. All right. Can you actually like do anything to me? You can light screen. I think the the croc might take it with its default typing. Fire ghost. Parting shot. All right. All right. That's no worries at all. Not at all. What can the hat do to me? Can the hat do anything? Pardon my French, but can the hat do do much? What can you actually accomplish? Because I have I have unaware. I guess I'll go to Great Tusk just in case you have anything. Nuzzle. All right, you have nuzzle. That's what you have. Do you have Mystical Fire? Probably Psyshock Mystical Fire. I don't have a great response to Mystical Fire, unfortunately, but... Alright, I'll use Corviknight on this. Okay, this is fine. I can Body Press. I'll use Defog to get rid of the screens, I guess. That's fine. That sounds okay. Oh, it bounces back. True. <laughs> that's true. Honestly, that's that's pretty true. My bad on that one. I forgot about that. In little interaction, little ditty. Are you going to nozzle again? Or are you going to mystical fire this time? Calm mind this time. All right. And his last move, mystical fire. If last move is mystical fire, you've got a shot. Because then you can... Skeletor still wins this, but... Oh, Reflect. Huge. True, dude. Okay. I'll get another iron hit in there. I got a crit. That's nice. I am a fan of that. And there's no need to do anything but go to Skeledurge. That's going to be fine. We can just Torch Song. For a very simple and effective win condition. No need to even heal. You're doing peanuts damage. You're doing little damage to me. Cyclozar, hello. You can knock me off, but at this point in the game, I think I'll be alright. I'll slack off just in case you taunt. And then I'll Torch Song once more. And we should be in the home stretch. This is a kill. And that's it. Okay, we've reclaimed 1700. That's nice. All right, this team is pretty good. People are catching on to the tricks. It's a bit inconsistent when you have to rely on something like Rotom Trick or Perish Song to handle certain things because it's an inherently flimsy plan when Perish Song only has 8 PP, can easily be stalled. And when something, when a team like the one I lost to has too much offensive pressure, like I, I don't have enough steam to actually handle everything. They're going to force a bad terror out of me. They're going to, like they forced me to use health on Rotom to prevent the rocks going up, which then made me bad versus Ape, which then made me bad versus everything. And then there's still more threats to handle. Like it's too much sometimes, but overall the team has been doing well. I think um, probably if Ape and Chiyu get banned, that'll be great for this team. I think this that'll be even better because then the Screamtail can still handle Espathra. 
random other stuff like uh, Hatterin. Anything that, that wants to receive a shed tail. Screamtail can reset momentum against it, start wishing and stealth rocking. The croc can handle Dragonite and various physical threats as well. King Gambit can wall break versus like Garganical. I think the team will be buffed if, if the ape gets banned and if Chi Yu gets banned, which I think there's whispers about such things. Anyway, uh, that was a good sesh. Thanks to the patrons. If you want to send me a team to take a look at in a vid and I'll, you know, make changes, try to improve the team. Take a look at Patreon for more info on that. Or if you want to request a video topic like my recent Floatzel video that is an absolute hit sensation across the entire world. It's considered the most popular YouTube video of the last 48 hours. Uh, yeah, you could request me to create a video about your favorite Pokemon such as Nuzleaf. I don't know. Let me know. And of course, take a look at my other uploads. My uploads are of high quality. I have, you know, intelligence and extremely astute decision making. And my gameplay is of a high level. You're going to want to watch my videos, folks. They're going to be great for you. They're going to enhance your life. They're going to enhance your experience on this earth. Thank you for watching. Skeledurge is excellent. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. <laughs>